A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. The ball down at the one as they come up after the penalty on another second and goal. A little unconventional, but another kneel down here as they work towards a field goal try. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. This Tampa Bay defense, they held strong on the first two plays. Now third and goal. And here's another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game winner. So a big kick coming for Robbie Gold. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Now flags come in before the kick. Clearly there was contact. Who was at fault? So it was the defense that jumped, and that'll move them five yards closer. I wonder how they did it. What if they twitched a little bit up front, you know, a little subtle head movement that the officials didn't detect, but they got it done. Now they're five yards closer for their field goal attempt. And Gold is able to put it through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Now Brady. Connecting with Johnson, and he's out of bounds, so give him about nine as that stops the clock. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. To throw is Brady. He's got Johnson, and he's going to have a first down as he stops the clock with 12 seconds left to play. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Back to throw, Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. And the 12-year veteran. Exit right through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is... 
So a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, stout, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he's only going to get this to the four-yard line. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And yeah, he's going to get this up to the 24-yard line. Now Leonard Fournette. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. Now a first throw here in overtime. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here's second and 10. Here's Brady to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They've had some success here in overtime on this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there available to them. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield, get themselves in a position to score and win this game. Here's second and nine. Brady now to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Coming up on a third and nine. Opening drive of overtime as they look to convert. From the gun, it's Brady. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it, and it's complete. They're going to get the first. The